G'day YouTube, one MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, I had another video planned for today, but I thought I'd do a follow-up to uh, yesterday's video because this is a perfect example of it. So as I said before, you know, what are the things I use to try and help me dictate what's going to happen with the market? Now, it's not guaranteed uh, and it doesn't really help so much in the short term, like, you know, by the minute or the hour or anything like that, but it does show an overall trend. So as we can see today, the market cap's down. So we're at 352 billion yesterday, I think. Now we're down to 349 billion. Bitcoin is down uh, to 8, uh, 10,800 and we're up around sort of the $11,000 mark, thereabouts. So obviously a red day and a lot of things are down. So we can go over here and we can have a look. Again, we're up at basically the $11,000 mark yesterday uh, and we got rejected pretty quick from it. And we rolled over and I was saying, you know, we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. But what are some sort of helpful lead indicators of what Bitcoin might do? Well, S&P 500 is a really good one. So as we can see, the S&P 500 has been scaling down for quite some time. So this was maybe the bounce because we got up above the all time high. So we can see the all time high. We ranged across the all time high for a while, pumped up and now we've just started to sell off. Again, there's no stimulus packages coming out at the moment. Everyone's starting to get a bit of fear going on and they're selling. This is in the S&P 500, and I believe this could go down even further. How low? I don't know. I would be thinking maybe sort of somewhere around here. You know, we'll test this maybe again. Uh, and look, we could go lower. But either way, you know, I'm not really sure how low it's gonna go, but it has rolled over. So S&P 500 has rolled over. Bitcoin rolled over along with it. What about gold? Let's have a look at gold. What's happening with gold? A similar sort of thing. Gold had a pump up, fell down, bit of a fake out here. People thought we were going to sell back up and it sold off again. Now it is still above this kind of short term trend line here. But again, this is only going back to, you know, the 12th of August. So it's not that long ago. And yeah, it has rolled over. So Bitcoin rolled over. We can see rolled over there. S&P 500 pumped up, rolled over. Gold pumped up and rolled over. So they're really some of the indicators that I use to try and get an understanding of what Bitcoin might do. It's not a guaranteed and they're not always completely in sync, i.e. to the minute. Sometimes, sometimes they might be an hour or two or even a day behind. But let's also have a look at the Dixie because this is one I spoke about yesterday as well. So the Dixie pumped up, it rolled over, and then we were at about here, we we're waiting to see what it's done, and now look what's happened. So the dollar is actually pumping, the dollar is building here. So when the dollar is pumping, assets, things like gold, things like the S&P 500, things like Bitcoin, generally don't do well. And vice versa, when uh, the dollar is dumping, all of these generally tend to do well. So they're the indicators that I look for to try and get an understanding of where Bitcoin might be going. Because, you know, it frustrates me, but Bitcoin is still highly correlated to the S&P 500. It's still highly correlated to gold because they are assets. And generally when the dollar isn't doing well, assets are doing really well. And when the dollar does well, i.e. something like this, assets generally, uh, sorry, yeah, assets generally don't do well. And what we can see here is uh, the dollar peaked up today and gold rolled over. S&P 500 rolled over and Bitcoin rolled over. So just a quick follow up from yesterday. That is uh, sort of what I have a look at to help me, you know, try and understand what the, the trend is. Now, again, I don't do leverage trading or anything like that. You could use those indicators to help you leverage trade. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm not skilled enough to be a leverage trader and things like that. And I do, I'm not a trader in general, really. I do a couple of swing trades every now and then. I'm just an investor. I'm holding on for the long term. So what we're all waiting for at the moment is for the US to come out and say that another stimulus package uh, will be coming out soon. Because as soon as that stimulus money starts to come out, you can guarantee that it'll be going back into assets. Guaranteed Bitcoin? No, definitely not. But Bitcoin's pretty uh, high on the agenda for a lot of people at the moment. It's building momentum. And again, while this rollover here is, you know, it's disappointing, we've got to scale out. 
we are still on a general uptrend. Yes, this can roll over and it'll come back and test this $10,500 level. Look, it could even come back and test here. So the $9,600 level, we're still on the outside of this uh, greater trend line. Again, I believe we are in a bull market. The 21 uh, week moving average, uh, this bounced off it. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see whether that's still going to hold and whether any of these you know, new stimulus packages are coming out. But anyway, just a quick video, like I said, follow up from yesterday to show you the indicators that I'm looking for. These charts give me an idea of where the market sort of might be headed. Uh, it, it, again, it's no guarantee, but they're things that I use. All right, that's it from me tonight. Stay safe, be kind to one another. It didn't look like there was a lot of gains out there, but you know, maybe you got on some and well, well done to you. And I'll see you next time.